Now let us understand the broadcast routing. In this routing, the host need to send a messages to the many of the nodes. We can say all other nodes. This is known as a broadcast. For example, a service distributor weather reports means the weather report distributed to the all users. Stock market updates. In that stock market updation, then it can view by the all people, not the group of the people. Live radio programs. In short, the sending a packet to the old destination simultaneously, it is called a broadcasting. Simple definition. So, the first broadcasting method. Here we have used few of the method in broadcasting routing. So, first broadcasting method that simply send a distinct or unique packet to the each destination. So, it west of the bandwidth, but it also required the source to have a complete list of the all destination. So, the destination node having the complete list of the other nodes, but west a bandwidth. So, in practice, this may be only possibility, but it is the least desirable of the method. Now, let us understand the second method. The flooding is second method. So, in flooding, the flooding is for the ordinary point-to-point -point communication. In broadcasting, it might be rate serious consideration. Means, especially if none of the methods are applicable, we have used flooding. So, in flooding, the packet send to each node point-to-point -point communication. The problem in this flooding as a broadcast technique is same problem because it used the point-to-point -point routing algorithm. So, it is generated too many packets because it sent point-to-point -point node and it also consumes too much bandwidth. We have third method algorithm of multi-destination routing. So, in that, if this method is used, each packet contains either a list of the destination or we can say bitmap which is indicating desired destination. We have saved the sum of bandwidth. So, when packet arrived at router, the router checked the all other destination. It is determined the set of the output lines which only to be needed. The router generate a new copy of that packet, each of the output line to be used and include each packet only those destination that are used to that line. So, it will save the bandwidth as well as time. Next is fourth, fourth broadcast algorithm. It make explicitly use of the sync tree for the routing initiating the broadcast or any other convenient spanning tree like. So, in spanning tree, it is a subset of the subnet that include the all router, but in that case, there is no looping because it use spanning tree from the root node to list node. So, the each router know which of it line belongs to connected in their spanning tree. It can copy an incoming broadcast packet onto the all other spanning tree lines except that one it arrived on. So, now let us discuss about the multicasting routing. Multicast routing, sending a message to a particular group instead of the all node. It is known as a multicasting and its routing algorithm is called multicast routing. In multicast routing, it required a group management because we need to send a message to a group. So, we need to create and destroy a group and allow process to join and leave group of nodes. To do multicast routing, each router compute a spanning tree. It's covering the old other routers. For example, in figure, there is two group, group 1 and group 2. See, in this figure, there is two group, group 1 and group 2. Some router are attached to the host that belongs to one group or both of this group. See, this is indicated in this figure. The figure A, this node use two group, group 1 and group 2. So, when Group 1 sent their pack message to node, it received. And whenever group 2 sent their message, then it's also received. But in this, in this node, it received only group 1 message. This node received only group 2 message. 
see in this figure similar multicast routing so in multicast routing a spanning tree for the left most router which is shown in figure b c left most spanning tree when process send a multicast packet to a group the first router examine its spanning tree and prune to it remove all other lines and don't lead to the host that are member of the group so in this example let us see the figure c which is pruned to spanning tree from the group a c figure c for the group a remove the all other which are on the other groups is only for the group a and this figure d figure so the prune spanning tree for the group 2 this multicast packets are forwarded only along the appropriate spanning tree it is for the group 1 it is for the group 2 thank you